Hi everyone, I'm Chef Angela Rose Capanna from Eat Your Heart Out Edibles. I'm a personal chef and I create custom meals for my clients. But now I wanna share my favorite tips, tricks, and recipes from my kitchen to yours. And if you're hungry for more, make sure to click the subscribe link below. Hey everyone, it's been a hot minute, literally it's boiling outside in South Jersey, but I'm back and I'm here to send to show you some quick, easy, no bake, no cook recipes. And today is my Mediterranean pinwheels. So you just need a few simple ingredients and you don't need to turn the oven or the stove on, which is the absolute best part. Um, make sure you get your food processor out or if not, you're gonna need a lot of muscle strength. So get a food processor. Um, so these, the base of this is an eight ounce block of cream cheese. You can use reduced fat, full fat, or you could even do like a vegan alternative if you wanted to, so it was dairy free. And then to the cream cheese, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and then about seven to six ounces, or six to seven ounces, I should say, of crumbled feta cheese. And then roughly about a quarter cup of chopped chives. I'm just gonna give them a rough chop uh, the food processor will do most of the work. So in they go. And if you don't have chives, don't worry about it. It's like not a deal breaker at all. And then I did this before we started filming because it takes forever, but I squeezed every ounce of water out of um, a 12 ounce pack of frozen chopped spinach. And into the food processor, this is gonna go as well. And then I'm going to, this is the main, this is the main part of it. So the spinach, the cream cheese, feta cheese, and then sun-dried tomatoes in oil. So that's the key. The oil has a lot of seasoning and I'm gonna pour a nice drizzle. I'm gonna say maybe about two tablespoons of the oil into this. And then I'm gonna add, let's say three or four of the sun-dried tomatoes into the mix as well. Quick chop, but again, the food processor is gonna do most of the work. And then, two options here. You can put the basil on separate or throw it into the mix, and I'm about easier, so we're throwing it into the mix in the food processor. So I'm gonna say roughly about a cup of fresh basil. If you don't want fresh basil, you know, you can use dried, but it is August, and everyone has tons of fresh basil towards the end of the summer. Quick chop into the food processor, it goes. Oh, also you can make these the night before, which is really good. So if you're going to the bar a barbecue, a beach, even towards the end of the summer, getting ready for back to school, it's something you totally can make ahead of time. So now we're gonna season and spog, you guys should know this by now, salt, pepper, onion, and garlic powder. So let's say about half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, we'll say a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I like to add oregano. I'm gonna say about a half a teaspoon of dried oregano. So that's everything in here. Put the lid on, start processing it, and we're gonna have the filling for the wrap. So you wanna make sure everything gets evenly combined. You may have to stop and you know mess around a little bit with your fork, but otherwise, this is what we're looking with. It looks kind of like spinach artichoke dip, to be honest. So that is your filling. And then you have um, the rest of your sun-dried tomatoes here. So I'm going to give these a rough chop and these are gonna go in the center of all the tortillas. And then as far as the tortillas go, I'm using sun-dried tomato, um, or my, I'm sorry, I'm using my garden herb wraps but I also like to use my sun-dried tomato wraps, or if you want a low-carb option, you totally could use um, a low-carb wrap. Or corn tortillas if you need it to be gluten-free, there's always tons of options, just get whatever wrap suits you and your needs. So here we go. One wrap, and I'm gonna say, uh, let's say like a third of a cup of filling to each wrap. Basically, you just want it to Fill it up 
make sure you get the edges. That's something I learned, because if not, you just wind up cutting them off and there's no filling and it's a waste. So make sure you really spread it all over, get to the edges. And it helps if your uh, cream cheese is at room temperature prior to this. It just spreads a lot quicker. Then if you have some extra fresh basil, you could just throw a few down the center. It smells delicious because the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes, the fresh basil, and then just a couple of the sun-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna say two sun-dried tomatoes per wrap. But the main like flavoring and all the ingredients are in the uh, spread already, so don't sweat it. Well, let's say three, that looks a little skimpy. Alrighty, now we get rolling and wrapping. Here we go. And like I said, you can make these the night before. I have these on my catering menu all the time. This is like a little reason I love that I can make them the night before is it helps me with all of my prep. Um, so obviously you could just like leave this thing like a log and eat it, <laughs> pretend it's a cigar. But for decorative purposes and how I serve it for my catering menu is I like to cut them on an angle. And they look like little pinwheels. And let me show you on this plate. Wipe my hands this oil off. How nice they look when they're all finished. Mediterranean pinwheel wraps. Couldn't get much simpler. Didn't have to turn the oven or the stove on. You got yourself a yummy, yummy little wrapper roux.